Artamanov is just an extremely admirable and intelligent player who you can tell is giving it all out on the ice while also bringing a really selfless and effective style of play that really benefits everyone he shares the ice with. He's hard on the puck, he forechecks really well, he doesn't really take the foot off the gas pedal a whole lot. When he gets the chance, he dives into the scoring areas head first, he can make creative plays that are difficult under pressure, and he's doing it all against good competition over in Russia. He thinks really quickly and really effectively, timing a lot of his passes really well. He brings this natural instinct to a really important area of the game especially, which is getting pucks off the boards and into open ice, both on his stick and doing it for teams. Mates. And it is just really, really hard to dislike a player who is wired the way that Nikita Artemanov seems to be wired. He plays hard hockey, he plays physical hockey, he shows moments of being a really slick playmaker, putting passes through legs here and there, and you can kind of really quickly see why he's been such a solid producer all year. And the best part of Artemanov's game is the constant work rate and intensity level that you see out of him. Along with that, the selfless and creative skill and small area passing ability that he has, even under a lot of pressure against men at this level. But not everything is perfect with Artemanov, and I think his ceiling is a little bit limited when you project him to the NHL. His skill isn't necessarily high-end, it's good but not great. His shot is okay at times, but not necessarily a high-end thing he was using game in and game out. And I really do think that for a player that lacks a little bit of size like Artemanov does, a major limitation for him moving forward is just an inability to generate a lot of space between him and players pursuing him. He just lacks that first couple steps of quickness that are really important to get away from pressure and he just ends up finding himself fighting off pressure a lot and trying to send passes through traffic a little more than he could. I find Artemanov's projection relatively straightforward. With strong skill development and improvements to his quickness and staying light on his feet, I think there's clear potential with Artemanov as a really good supportive two-way winger. He's a selfless, intelligent, hard-working complementary player who I think has a creative side that should be nurtured. Personally, I don't really expect an elite NHLer like some of the players around him in draft-eligible scoring in KHL history, but I certainly think that Artemanov could be a player that any coach loves, and I think a player who enables line mates to be at their best. But I've really enjoyed watching him all season, and I really look forward to seeing what happens in the draft with him.